Roger Music and you're watching Asiana Bridal Show. Hi, I'm Anushka Aurora and you're watching the Asiana Bridal Show 2016. inspiration well you've come to the right place the Asiana bridal show now in its 15th year is the place to help plan the biggest day of your life I'm Montaz and I'm gonna be guiding you through today's events official makeup artist for the Asiana Bridal Show 2016 along with my amazing team. The look that we have gone for on the catwalk today is fresh gold eyes with a really bright lipstick and um, we wanted to keep away from the smokies just because we've got spring and summer coming up, wedding season and we want to keep it very fresh and bright. and I'm the official hairstylist for the Asian Bridal Show 2016. So what we went for this year is we wanted to go for a very textured look because textured, messy hair, softer kind of hair is in for brides now. A lot of brides don't want the structured kind of look. They want to look softer, they want to make, they want to frame their face a little bit better. So what we went for is a braid at the front. Half of the models we did a high structured, up, a high soft updo and half the models we did a low soft updo. Just to show that variation um, of different hairstyles that we can create. So you've met the love of your life set the wedding date next up you need to decide on where you're going to get hitched here are some tips on how to find the perfect wedding venue the key things uh, choosing a venue is obviously the location first and the space obviously you know and then the facility the the, the venue has you know, obviously the internal space how big it is I was to the chair. The chair is the bride room, the prayer room, the garden. Both of the venues are the same facilities. Blank canvas space is obviously a lot, lot easier to deal with because obviously you're starting from maybe a neutral foundation and then you're building in. Whereas with the other way around, you're mostly just accentuating certain features of the actually the room. So if it's a very ornate, got a lot of architectural features, then you're basically maybe accentuating those features with simple lighting, those sort of elements that go with it. And with Asian weddings in general, it's all about colour normally. But if you work, use it in a, a particular way, in a clever way, it becomes very, very classy as well. Because it could work totally the opposite as well. What your wedding looks like matters. So it's never been more important than to think about your theme. Here at the Asiana Bridal Show, we have experts on hand to give you lots of ideas and inspiration. Today, we've chosen to, to go with a, a very, and, and deliver a very regal, opulent, gold theme. Um, we wanted to bring something that sort of oozes luxury, and there's nothing better than the colour gold to really bring sort of regal and opulence and richness to, to life. Every single wedding that I do is completely different. I've never delivered one event that is the same. So from my point of view, I'm constantly being challenged by my customers to bring in something new. What is the next thing? What can I do? What can I, how can I make my mark? How can I make my event unique? And actually they come to us because that is exactly what we do to make their wedding um, very unique, but also very personal to them. We asked them to come into our unit, uh, have a look at everything we've got and be inspired. 
and then ideas start popping out. So they'll start looking at things and saying, oh, well, that's got this particular candelabra matches the venue, or this is the colour of the um, outfit that my sisters are wearing. So inspiration will come as soon as you step into our unit. We've done gone for a very rose garden look. Um, a lot of brides this year are looking at very garden themes, vintage themes, lots of florals. And we we feel that um, the floral shouldn't overtake your wedding. We think they should be a part of your wedding day. Weddings are an expensive business. There's no getting away from that. But imagine if you spent thousands of pounds on your wedding and then had to cancel it. This is why you need wedding insurance. So, risky business having a wedding. It's a very risky business if you think of the kind of financial commitment um, that a lot of families make when it's, it's supposed to be the happiest day of their, their daughter or their sister's life um, without any financial backup should anything go wrong. In essence, what we're talking about is if the wedding needs to be cancelled or rearranged. Culturally, most Asian families will not continue with such an auspicious occasion if there's been a bereavement in the family for a, a close member of that family. Um, and whatever monies have already been paid by way of deposits and bookings will be lost. So by providing this cover and enhancing it and bespoking it for the Asian marketplace, we've also been able to include multiple events, worldwide cover, and a definition of the family which is relevant to Asian families. Now, what bride doesn't love a bit of bling? Jewelry plays an important part in your wedding shopping list. Here are some ideas to help you choose your ultimate wedding set. If a customer wants a certain number of strands, she wants a smaller piece, if she wants some um, smaller pair of earrings, you know, to go with a longer necklace, anything colour-wise, we can coordinate it accordingly to her outfit. I think last year and this year is very layered kind of looks. It is still trending for this year as well. I think um, very Sabia Sachi type, very heavy looks. That, that's what he's bought that trend in. So everybody want that, wants that type of jewellery now. We do a complete range of uh, bridal collection where starting from a headpiece uh, to up to a toe ring, we do necklace sets, we do earrings, mangtika, matapatti, vazu bands, we even do the sari belts and uh, armbands, bangles, cufflink cuffs, uh, so all type of bangles and we do bridal chudas as well, we do kalires as well, so we classify anything any bride needs, we have the full range for them. If they visit the store or the show here, we can help them to best our knowledge. This is one of our latest collection which is for 2016 which is a kundan with semi-precious rubies and pearls. This is one of the latest collection which comes with a matching tumor, headpiece, hand punches and an armband. And we, with these we do now the nice good traditional nose rings which are like the big size and then we do it like we can customize it to any size they like, the brides. So this is one of the latest one we do. It's quite hard to classify it as one particular look but I think layering seems to be the look for all sorts of brides, Pakistani, the Indian brides. In particular this, this piece is uh, it's a me metal based piece with gold plating but the work it's all handmade it's uh, Kundan jewellery. With this we've used tiny little pearls to create a border and give extra definition to the larger stones. So we create from all over the world. We have lots of different and unique pieces. Something that can go for every day or more statement pieces when you're traveling, destination wedding. This particular necklace, uh, they all have a Swarovski zirconia in it. Each of the zirconia has been inscribed by Swarovski and it's all handmade. So what's the one thing your guests will remember more than anything else? It is of course the catering. These are the experts who will make sure your guests don't go hungry. The wedding catering has to be table service because you invite all the guests, all of them are your VIP. You don't want them to go and line up on the buffet and you know some people doesn't go back to the buffet again because you know they just feel okay I don't want to queue up. 
So I will say table service is the best. Some are vegetarian, some non-vegetarian. We have very variety dish for non-vegetarian. Biryani goes really well and our lambuna is very, very popular. I will say it's nation favorite. Innovation continues and Madhus have always been at the top of innovation. Uh, we introduced the Karai stand, then we, uh, I invented the crystal stand and um, we're always looking for ideas of how to make it better. And now my son is following my footsteps and he's just come up with uh, um, this iPad which instead of a brochure, if somebody inquires with Madhus now, um, they will get an iPad through the, the post, a full singing and dancing iPad with all of Madhu's details on it as well, uh, that they can use it for their own use. And I mean, this is something that's not been done in, uh, in London, in UK. In fact, I don't think it's been done anywhere in the world. So just on inquiry stage, you get an iPad, which has got all the details. And we've got about 100 partners that work with us on the iPad. So sitting at home, it's going to make the bride and the groom's job 10 times easier. The wedding planner will, uh, will uh, take all your information, your details, and uh, take your requirements, and uh, he'll start from venues so what we'll do is group, we book a venue um, your catering uh, your decor your, and basically everything you know and we'll have a special coordinator on the day to help you with your wedding Choosing the makeup artist is the biggest decision a bride will make. Luckily, we have the UK's best makeup artist on hand showing off some of their signature looks. When a bride generally comes to me, her first concern is how is she going to look in the pictures, how is her makeup going to look, she doesn't want to look too much, and we really got to get that balance right for her. So we have a trial consultation before the big day, and we sit them down, we talk to them about exactly what they want, they show me pictures of what they like, and we really break it down and tell them that, look, this is what I recommend, this is what will look good on you, we'll try it, we'll take pictures and show them how it looks. And I think it helps them overcome a lot of the fear that they have of, of looking too much on their wedding day. They still want to look like themselves. And I think the trial really gives that chance for them to be able to do that. The job of a makeup artist on the big day, I think this it's, it's, it's multiple um, jobs, I would say, because you're not only just doing the hair and makeup for your bride, you know, you're there to make her feel good. And, you know, it's, makeup's not just about going there, doing a quick job, doing their hair and rushing out. You've got to make them feel calm, give them exactly what they want, make them feel a million dollars. And we also style the whole outfit. So they can go and spend £5,000, £10,000 on an outfit, but we have to put that outfit together and make it look a million dollars. And, you know, that finishing in the end, it really makes a difference to brides. This is my bride Imogen, um, she was my bro a real bride last year's summer. So Imogen had a very particular theme in mind, um, she wasn't going for a traditional red outfit um, so we had to really work together with the colour scheme she chose to give her the bridal look without going with the traditional red. I made it clear what kind of look I was going for, I showed Artie my outfit and she did a really good job of trying to work with the makeup and piece it together with the outfit and I think she never ever makes a bride look too much either and that's what really really sold it to me is that she never makes brides look you know too heavy she really really makes sure that the makeup suits their face as well I just love how you can really transform somebody without doing too much this is the premium event um, all the suppliers are professional um, it's lovely to be under the same roof as suppliers who are very um, passionate about the service they provide